plots of cyclic voltammetry curves and capacitive and diffusive current contributions are common in battery research papers. However, developing these plots manually is a time-consuming and error-prone task. Consequently, I developed a program to automate this process and generate higher quality outputs. This video will first show a demonstration of this program, followed by a tutorial on its usage. Beginning with the demonstration, users begin by selecting the files to be analyzed. Several specifications are then provided, which will be explained in the tutorial. After clicking button 8, the program automates origin to generate several graphs, the details of which will be described subsequently. Next, click button 9 to open the folder containing the generated outputs. These include a Word document that contains each graph with a generated caption. A PowerPoint file containing each image and caption is also generated. Finally, a folder containing each graph exported as an image is generated. This concludes the demonstration, so the tutorial will now begin. After selecting your input data files, enter the scan rate in millivolts per second for each of these. This will cause columns C and D to populate with full name and legend name parameters. These parameters will be used to name the origin worksheets and legend entries respectively. The formulas in these cells may be overwritten if you prefer. Next, specify the cycle that you wish to plot from each data file. The first cycle often has a discontinuity due to the changing scan rate, so the second or third is typically preferred. Next, specify the active material mass for each data file. This value is used if users specify milliamps per gram as the unit for current. By default, this column will populate itself with the value entered in the first row, but this may be overwritten if you prefer. Next, optionally enter the voltage of peak current value for each data file. To illustrate the purpose of this value, it should be understood that the program will automatically identify the peak current in each of your CV curves. However, if your curves have multiple peaks, the program may not identify the specific peak that you wished to analyze. In this event, use the Data Picker tool in Origin to select your peak of interest and copy the voltage value into this column. Then run the program again and it will correctly extract your peak of interest. Next, specify the abbreviated project name. This will be used to name the files that are generated by the program. Next, specify the full project name. This will be used to generate the captions for each figure in the output word file. It should be noted that these are generated using an Excel formula However, these formulas may be overwritten if you prefer. Next, use buttons 3 to 5 to select your preferred origin templates for the CV curves plot, linear fitting plots, and contributions plot. These affect aspects of the graph such as the line thicknesses and colors. These templates may be modified from within the origin graphical user interface and a detailed demonstration of how to do so is given in the link in the description. Next, use buttons 6 and 7 to select your preferred Word and PowerPoint templates. These templates affect various aspects of the generated documents, and again, a detailed demonstration of how to modify these is given in the link in the description. Next, optionally modify the current and voltage units. This will also cause the current and voltage axes titles to repopulate based on an Excel formula. However, you may overwrite these values if you prefer. Next, optionally enter your preferred upper and lower axis limits. If these are left blank, the program will set these automatically based on the values of your datasets. This concludes the tutorial. However, it should be noted that the manual contains written forms of these instructions and additional information. Finally, 
I am offering this program for sale from my website, cyresa.com. If this appears useful to you and you would like to consider purchasing it, then I would greatly appreciate it as this will enable me to keep making more programs. Thank you for watching and I hope to help you accelerate your scientific research.